Greetings, friends and Robloxians. Thanks for watching a Little Kingdom production. Welcome to episode three of the Noob to Pro series. In our last video, we had just created a tier two workbench, and that triggered Arius, the NPC vendor from the hub, to come pay us a visit. Now our goal is to get to a tier three workbench, and that's gonna take a lot of iron. Arius brought us a free iron totem, just in time. I'm going to claim this and then I'll show you how I set it up and how I like to use it. I like to clear off this top part of my island to give the totem plenty of space to do its thing. Once we set it down, it is going to be spawning nodes of iron ore rocks within a two or three block radius of the totem. But the ore itself will need to occupy a space of two or three blocks. I set the totem in the middle of this open area. Now there are several ways to use the totem and I leave it up to you to choose what's best for you. This I think would be the first option. Just set it in an open area and let it spawn some ore rocks. It takes a few moments to spawn the first nodes. I take that time to continue to grind for the needed items and experience. Pet the cow, plant the wheat, chop the trees, and so on. Once there are stones spawned on your island, mine them with your axe or pickaxe preferably, and then continue the process over again. The next way I prefer to set this up is in a fashion where it's raised up at least one block above the area I like to stand on, and putting down a platform all around the totem, blocks for the ore to spawn on. This to me is a little more controlled, and if you use a keystroke recorder like Tiny Task, this could be a great way to AFK farm ore automated with repeated playback of keystrokes. Watch my video on using Tiny Task to get more details on this type of grinding. And lastly, at the Iron Ore Totem, when given time, a moment after spawning the Ord node, will pick the rocks up that it spawned and put it in one of six storage slots. The slots can hold multiple ores. Clicking on a totem that has ore in it will automatically empty the totem's storage contents into your inventory. Looking on the Tier 2 workbench, we see the upgrade to the Tier 3 needs 400 iron and 20 maple wood that we don't even have a maple sapling yet. I think we need to use some resources we have and some negotiating skills to our advantage. Let's go to the hub and see if anybody there needs regular wood, which I know is valuable to players and is one of the re only resources I currently have enough of since I've been grinding my island's trees over and over. Before I go, I do have enough iron to craft small furnace. That's going to increase the amount of iron that we can smelt at one time. Set this up right here. Load it up with a bunch of iron ores. Oh wow, this thing holds a ton. Don't want to use wood to power it, so put some coal in there. Alright, while that's burning, let's go check out the hub and see if we can find some players to help us out. I would like to emphasize that what I'm attempting to do here is not begging. I have wood and I am willing to trade it for a single maple sapling and some iron ingots. There are many players here who are well established that have iron in the hundreds of thousands and even have hundreds of maple saplings. And they probably want raw wood resources as they can use that to upgrade totems for their watermelon farms. So this is to our advantage as a new player. I offer 100 wood for some iron ingots and a maple sapling. I'm not greedy. Rich players will often just give new players tons of stuff to be generous. I'm not looking to take advantage of that. I just want a fair deal. Let's see if somebody will take us up on it. You find all kinds of interesting things going on in the hub. Lots of players meet here to go on quests teaming up on the mobs, showing each other cool secret places they found, or just shooting the breeze having fun conversations. Hopefully they're fun. Be wary though, there are a lot of scammers in the game. They will tell you stories about being scammed themselves in hopes of taking advantage of you, or scammers that claim they'll help you build but want to steal your stuff. Here's another player looking for steel ingots, but they're not offering anything in trade like I am. I expect that I will have somebody interested in my deal because I'm offering up wood. Oh, somebody just offered to trade me. I know that when I see the little window appear on the right side of the screen, I just click on that to activate the trade session. I put in a hundred wood. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> they put in one grape seed. No deal. I close the window. Make sure when a player offers to trade with you that the items they put in the trade window are the actual items you agree to trade for. Very quickly, I'm engaged in another trading session, but this time, though the player offers me some very valuable items, including iron and cry iron, there's no maple sapling, and I really need maple. So I close the trading window. Almost immediately, another player here says they have what I need. Da monkey. So I put in my 100 wood, and look at that, 10 maple saplings. I accept that. I ensure they knew they were being a bit generous, and they acknowledged, don't be afraid to trade. As long as you know the value of stuff, what you really want, what it's worth to you, you cannot be tricked or scammed. Just don't trade anything in exchange for future promises. I also don't like to drop things for players. Trading is much more civilized. Right after that, I go back to my island to plant these maples. I'm going to get that maple wood I need right away. Now I kind of regret not holding out for the iron. I know there are players in the hub who had tons of the stuff, but I have my totem. I'll just keep grinding on it for now. One invaluable thing I get from this is the experience. The more experience points I get, the more I unlock the items that I'll need to craft. I almost forgot about the recommended items on the workbench. Now it recommends to me to craft a sprinkler. Unfortunately, a sprinkler is not what I need at this time. I totally disagree with this recommendation. A sprinkler should be used with an auto farm that uses totems. Along with a sprinkler, you need a water catching barrel. All this stuff is too expensive. I can't afford it. The sprinkler would cost me 30 iron and I'm still needing about 320 iron ingots to craft the tier three workbench. Not gonna go for this recommendation at this time. I recommend saving your resources. If anything, it should be recommending a furnace, which I already have, but I don't know. I wonder if it recommends different things to different players. I logged out and back in the game. It's now summer. I'm still 260 iron ingots short of being able to complete my final goal, crafting the tier three workbench. Cletus and Fulco are here. Fulco visits players' islands and sells fertile roses. Cletus rarely visits players' islands with crop seeds in the summer. He brings watermelon seeds. I wish I had the coin to afford these now, but I don't. I don't dismiss them from my island yet. I hope to be able to get the coin to purchase their items before the season is over. Every real day life, every 24 hours, island seasons change on a player's island. Cletus occasionally visits in the spring with radishes and the fall with pumpkins. He may also bring berry and pineapple seeds. Oh, and Fulco very rarely visits in the winter with white fertile roses. I recommend purchasing those seeds and flowers every time. That's what I do. I just gained the ability through mining experience to purchase a coal totem, so I go to the hub to see if we can get one of those. I sell my wheat, berries, and apples to Tom. That brings me up to over a thousand coins. Unfortunately, the coal totem costs 3,000 coins. I again try trading with players in the hub, and I'm very lucky today. I offer four cry iron in exchange for one large melon crate. Rich players often have thousands of large melon crates and are willing to make a trade like this. sell this crate to the wholesale vendor NPC named Dom here, and I earn a whopping 27,000 coins. I can now afford that coal totem and have plenty left over to purchase the watermelon seeds and fertile roses back on my island. Grinding for a tier 3 workbench is no easy task. Along the way, we're gaining a ton of experience and learning a lot about islands. There's so much more. This effort is to be continued. Please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a noob starting out, I hope this information and gameplay examples are useful to you. Please let me know in the comments. In the next episode, we're sure to get that tier 3 workbench and maybe see some new useful recommendations what to craft. I am kind of doubtful at this point that it will be something that I think is useful for a new player. Please come back to watch episode 4 to find out. Thanks for watching, and remember, have fun and keep it imaginary.